This is a lithium ion battery of a 2014 S63. These started coming from Mercedes in the 222 chassis. They didn't really tell us about them being released. It's a 94R battery type and size. Uh, an AGM absorbent glass mat battery usually weighs about 45.3 pounds. This one weighs 26.1. So that's a huge weight significance in the, the difference between two batteries. Anyway, they never really told us about these batteries. I looked through WIS as much as I can. Can't find anything about what they look like on the inside. The little information I do know is that they're made from lithium ion cells. There's a control module built into this and if the voltage drops too low, it'll open contactors in it, making this thing pretty much just a dead player. You can see right here, that's the connector for the CAN connection. So it has a network connection so it could talk to the rest of the car. Let's see what we got going on with the voltage. Right now we got 2.2 volts in this guy. So the cells are pretty dead. Contactors might be open. Let's see what's going on. Uh, lithium ion batteries are uh, unstable if they catch thermal runaway. I'm sure you've seen about it on the news. These require uh, a class D fire extinguisher. Class D fire extinguishers are yellow. They're super expensive. They go for about $800 for a 30 pound one and I don't have one. So that's when I'm next to the garage door. If this thing starts getting crazy, we can push it outside and let it burn itself out. With that said, we're gonna cut this guy open and see what's on the inside. Um, normally, I would just engage the safety squints, but since this is a legitimately dangerous situation here, I'm gonna get some safety equipment on. Get out the safety glasses. I'm losing my hearing, so I might as well protect my hearing. Get the shield on. Glove up. Thanks for gloves, Dylan. And we're gonna cut this bad boy open and see what's on the inside. Finally get to use my new uh, battery powered uh, battery. When I picked this up, it feels like most of the weight's on the bottom. So I can cut along the top where it seems like it's formed. We're gonna see what's on the inside. By the way, I'm a trained professional, so don't try this at home. A little bit of spark. Getting some metal in there somewhere. We'll see what it is in a couple minutes. All right, let's see what's in here. Yep, still stuck on this one. There it is. Looks like the whole thing's full of lithium cells. So it looks like we have the positive cable right here, negative cable right here. Then a whole lithium structure in here. Some bolts on the bottom. I'm gonna take those out right now and see what's going on. Lots of tamper-proof torques holding those in. I think I got tamper-proof bits. So here it is. It's probably not a good idea to lay it down on top of a metal surface. So we'll use this to insulate it. Uh, you ever see a cell phone when the battery goes bad and the back of it swells? Look at that right there. That guy is swollen. There's a control module. Excellently cut the wires off of it while while is uh, opening her up. It's right there. And I think that's as far as I want to take this thing because 
I don't need any thermal runaways in my garage at home. I got homeowner's insurance, but I'm sure this video is evidence of uh, what could go wrong. So yeah, we got the control module taking care of everything, the battery terminals, and a lot of technology. So if you're ever wondering what's inside of a Mercedes-Benz lithium-ion battery, this is it right here.